Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my third anti-haul video. Yes, I will leave the first two that I did linked down below or in the annotation somewhere on this video. If you guys are not familiar with what an anti-haul is, an anti-haul is just that. It's me talking about products that I'm just not gonna buy and if there's a specific reason as to why I'm not gonna buy them. With all the consumerism that's going around along with the millions of products that come out pretty much every season. I mean, we get thousands and thousands of online posts that show us constant products and magazines and, and ads online and here on YouTube as well. We always talk about products that, you know, we recommend that you guys buy and this, that, and the third. And thanks to Miss Kimberly Clark, which I'll also leave her channel linked down below. Thanks to her, all this awareness um, is come to light. A lot of people are doing anti-hauls now, but of course, Thank God to Miss Kimberly Clark, honey, because she did that. She always does that. She's very honest. Um, just an amazing YouTuber. So, of course, I'm going to leave a link down below. I'm sure that's why you guys are here. You probably have seen her videos before. So, yes, you guys like this product. I don't know why there has to be a disclaimer because people's opinions are not the end-all, be-all. So... To be honest, if it's something or product that you love or that you want and you have it on your wish list, go for it, boo. This is your money, not mine. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just telling you guys my thoughts, and that's why y'all here, okay? <laughs> Quick disclaimer, if you guys don't like these type of videos where I am like, I'm literally going to be ranting today. So I'm just giving you guys a fair warning that there's going to be some ranting. Um, it's going to get sassy per usual. But if you don't like these kind of videos, I will welcome you to gladly join me in one of my other videos. I have playlists from wigs, nails, makeup tutorials to weight loss if you're into that thing because clearly... I'm not um, but yeah I welcome you to check out all my other videos it's okay I understand if you don't like videos like this I just don't want you to continue watching if it's not your cup of tea I want to see them comments down there talking about yes I'm negative it doesn't need to be that way because I'm telling you this is exactly what it's gonna be it's gonna be a rant video I don't like these products I don't want to buy them and that's that so let's get started the first thing I'm not gonna buy is this bad boy right here this is forty dollars and this is the farsali jelly highlighter and i think it's a really cool concept it's a really pretty highlighter the swatches on it look like freaking sick but i have so many highlighters and i'm not really too much for cream highlighters i have quite a few from like the Nessa Myricks and I have a few from Maybelline and stuff like that and I use them but I'm not like gun-ho dropping everything I'm doing to use this this just looks like a product that's gimmicky I'm gonna say it gimmicky it's really pretty but it's not realistic as to something that I would open the jar for dip my finger in it after I applied all my makeup and then pat on my face I just by the time I get to highlighter boo boo, I'm ready to go, okay? So I'm not gonna spend $40 for something that's just pretty in packaging, which is probably what you're paying for anyway. So yeah, I'm really not for it. I have not been able to try the Farsali drops, but I'm gonna be honest, when I look at the ingredients, I'm sure I could find it somewhere else for way less cheaper and so much less hype. Um, it is one of those Instagram brands that made it big through Instagram and that's how most people know Farsali and I'm not knocking it if you like it if it's a good product I'm sure it is it's really beautiful but it's just not for me I ain't buying that sure as hell not gonna spend 40 dollars on it okay I'm just not gonna do that no we're, we're just not gonna do that so this collection right here is not I'm not knocking it because I'm sure it's really pigmented I've seen a lot of reviews um, some blogger friends of mine like Courtney from Fira.net she's already reviewed this palette and does not swatches and it looks great so it is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette along with some eyeliners and stuff like that that come with it now Urban Decay is known for their eyeliners like especially like their glitter liners and stuff like that so I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna pick up one of their items because clearly I like glitter um, but the palette itself although beautiful it's not something that I'm gonna sit there and spend $55 on just to have I think I'm like on this ridiculous no buy kind of more forcefully <laughs> than anything else but I'm really noticing that I have pretty much the necessary shadows that I need and want and if it's something that's like 
okay, I need it, then I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna try my best to get it. There are a few palettes on the market now that were limited edition and are not limited edition. And then there's a few palettes that I have been eyeballing that I really, really just want, especially because one, I know the pigmentation is pretty decent, especially from seeing constant reviews on them. And two, I just, I don't know, it just, it's kind of like my stilo, my style. So with the Urban Decay, I think it's great. I think it's pretty cool. It has a mirror in the middle. But to me, that's not something that I can take and use on clients. This is something that I would need just for my personal collection. And I mean, it's pretty, it's shimmery. I'm not gonna knock it. I do know Urban Decay does make some really good shadows, but I'm not like, let me drop $55 on you like I'm just not for it it's not for me but I do think that this would be a really nice gift to someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of shadows already and that they like shimmers and that they like Urban Decay or even though just the packaging itself is a really beautiful um it's I, I think it's really beautiful to give to someone as a gift or even for yourself you want to get it boo but I ain't getting it I don't want it I ain't for it yep not gonna buy it I don't see a need for it not saying Urban Decay is a bad brand it's just I'm fucking bored I'm bored I see it and I'm gonna be honest although the colors are beautiful and they're beautiful jewel tones and they're glittery I'm bored I what can I say is I it doesn't appeal to me I can't whatever I'm gonna need a drink girl I'm so thirsty parched so the next thing I'm not gonna buy and I haven't bought any of this collection it is the huda beauty i don't even know what the name of this palette is hold on the desert dusk palette i think the palette looks beautiful it is my cup of tea honey i like my mattes and my shimmers and my satins i like all that in a palette it doesn't matter what colors they are for the most part that's kind of what i look for in a palette i just need to have a little bit more variety in a sense I'm not paying $65 for a Huda palette. And I think I want to say that they have been, I don't know. I think Huda has been on my list already. Now the foundation, I'm kind of intrigued on the foundation. I'm not on anyone's PR list, by the way, so I really don't care. And even if I was, I would still, you know, spill the tea and tell you guys the truth. Like, I feel like Huda products are very well made. They're nice and stuff but overpriced i'm just gonna say it now the foundation is something that i may be intrigued in i may get a sample of it and try out but to, for me to step foot in sephora it's like pulling teeth so mm, i don't know how that's gonna work but you never know i might just give in and buy the foundation anyway because i've been watching some reviews and seeing how it works on like my kind of skin tone and stuff like that and that definitely is a full coverage foundation but let me know down below if you have tried the foundation what you think of it um the shadow palettes all her shadow palettes and her highlights look beautiful but again i'm not excited it does not excite me like it it's pretty much all been done before to me $65 is a lot for a palette I and mean, when you break down the cost of the shadows you're paying dollars for each shadow but still I ain't feeling it so I'm not gonna buy it Ugh. I mean if I had it in my hand I wouldn't really be mad about it but I'm not going to go out of my way and elbow some chick in the throat just so I can get this palette if you catch my drift. Just not gonna do it. Not gonna buy it. Not really into it. And I own no Huda products. I don't own, own none of her lipsticks, lip liners, her highlighting palettes. Clearly I don't own anything of hers. Not saying that I never will but it's just something that I'm not trying to spend my hard, my hard on coin on it if you catch my drift. I'm gonna need to drink some water because I'm sure I'm gonna piss somebody off. To be honest, some of these brands are like in my rosters. Every single video we talk about these brands and this one's no exception. Too Faced. <laughs> oh, Too Faced. Too Faced, Too Faced, Too Faced. What can we say about Too Faced? First thing, I like their Too Faced better than sex mascara do i think it's better than sex no because i actually have good fucking sex in my life so no i don't think it's better than sex but i do love the mascara i have their foundation which i think it's a beautiful foundation and i'm waiting for miss jackie Ina's collaboration when she's because she's working with them to make darker foundations so i commend them on that what i don't commend them on is this crap that they keep 
uh, uh, I'm confused. What is this? I mean, it's a re-release of all your palettes. Like, I think every YouTuber or every consumer out here, I mean, I don't know. Some of them are completely blinded and they're like, oh my God, Too Faced, need, need. I have uh, four of Too Faced palettes and I use none of them. I barely reach for any of them. I am so underwhelmed. Um, I mean, I see why they needed to name a mascara better than sex because that was probably the only good thing that was exciting in their collection. And I'm really not sure why they think that this is a good idea. To be honest, I was expecting them to name this jelly glitter mask into like unicorn poo or some shit like that, like literally. Um, I don't know the prices of these, so we're really not gonna discuss prices, but you could just imagine that it's gonna be like over $40 for everything. Cause you know, whatever. Like this whole new unicorn collection is just, what the fuck? Like I am a grown ass woman and I don't need these things in my collection. I don't, I mean, I find nothing euphoric about it. I find nothing cutesy about it. And this jelly mask is like, <laughs> what? I don't, I don't want to pay for that. I could make it at home with some glitter glue from Elmer's and mix in like some glycerin and shit. There you go. There's your mask. I'm not paying for that crap. Like, I don't understand why you think as a consumer and why they think as a brand that putting that shit on your face is even good for you at all. They really think that this mask, y'all stop this shit right now. Stop this shit right now, guys. Stop letting these companies make this crap and you guys acting like it's fucking like Ozzy Osbourne coming out in concert back in the like 70s and 80s. Like cut it out. Stop standing for companies that literally are just throwing crap in pans and telling you magical money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Beautiful. And that's it. Like, you guys really think that this, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm mad as hell. This is stupid. 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 Um, first of all, rainbow highlighters were in last year. Let's make that really clear. Um, I think everyone's pretty much over it. If you're not, Wet n Wild makes an amazing rainbow highlighter that's under five dollars. So you don't have to spend your hard-earned coin. I mean, look, I get if you want something cutesy wootsy in your collection, do you boo? If you want to buy it for your toddler, great, kind of weird, but okay. Like, I get Too Faced, it, this is their thing. This is their gimmick. This is what they do. That's their packaging. I can totally understand that. But let's be honest, it's nothing revolutionary, it's nothing fantastic, and it's so not worth your money. Like, it's not worth my money, but you know, whatever. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with yours, I'm just saying. It's not worth my money, I'm not going to get it. I'm just, I'm confused as to why he thought. Jared thought that throwing jelly and calling it a mask, throwing jelly and glitter and calling it a mask, oh, oh my God, I cannot. I'm blocking everybody. If you tag me or send me a picture or I see it on Instagram wearing these stupid glitter masks, I am blocking the shit out of you. That's it. <sighs> okay, hold on, I need to drink because, I mean, you thought my rant about Too Faced was, um, was bad. This is gonna suck so bad. Glam Glow. Oh, you overpriced fucking brand. Glam Glow. It's a glitter mask, guys. <laughs> it's a $69 glitter mask. <sighs> Let me tell you guys something, okay? If you... I mean, I'm assuming when you watch my channel, you already know you're kind of going to get it. You're just going to get it. You're going to get the tea. You're going to get the realness. And you're going to get the truth. I am not a chemist by any means necessary. I have common sense. Lots of it. Too common. Um, pretty awesome. But anyway, why does Glam Glow think that it's okay to create, to create a mask? 
a jelly mask, kind of like Too Faced, because I'm sure that they all have the same fucking manufacturers. Let's just, let's be honest here. They all have the same manufacturers. They all like, you know, take ideas from each other. Just this, what it is. Why do we think it's okay to have a skincare product sit on our skin, sit on our skin for 20 minutes that has glitter on it? Um, I like my skin more than I like makeup for this aspect. Glam Glow has been, look, okay. Glam Glow is probably someone's favorite brand that they think that is so luxe that they can spend $69 on a little fucking jar. Look at this. Don't, don't knock me because I have it. This was $22 and this is not even a full ounce. This is 0.5 fluid ounces, half of an ounce for $22. Do I regret it? Absolutely. I think that's probably the best mask because it's a mud treatment mask. The ingredients on their products, I'm gonna challenge you. You, Mr. and Mrs. Consumer, okay? Mr. and Miss Consumer, take a look at those ingredients and see if you can't find or make your own masks or find a mask that's just as equivalent without the price tag. Like, let's just look at this beautiful little Glam Glow thing. This is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I think this is the one. God, this has t -oxy complex with licorice and marshmallow leaf. Why do I want marshmallow leaf on my face? What's a marshmallow leaf? I thought marshmallows are made from sugar and water. What the fuck is a marshmallow leaf? I mean, if you're a gardener or you, you got a green thumb or you just know plants, let me know down below what the hell a marshmallow leaf is. Because I'm confused as to do marshmallows grow on trees or bushes? I thought we made humanly made Marshmallows, sugar, water, I don't know, something to make it sticky. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just confused. I, I don't know. But anyway, ingredients, water, polyvinyl alcohol, alcohol did not, butylene glycol, glycerin, some long ass word that I can't say, hamelis virginian, vir, hamelis virginiana, which is pretty much witch hazel, okay? That's the top five ingredients, guys. Leaf extracts, some tapioca starch, because hey, go for it. Um, I, I mean, I just don't, I'm mad. I'm mad that companies think that this is okay. I'm mad that a whole skincare line thinks it's okay to add some fucking sparkly glitters to their mask and they think that it's okay to let it sit on your skin while it clogs up all your pores because let's be honest, glitter is glitter. It doesn't dissolve. It actually irritates the skin to some. Think about it guys, before you spend 69 dollars, do you need glitter on your fucking mask? Or can you just grab one and slap some glitter on your face and call it it? Cause I'm sure you can find some glitter because half of these damn products have glitter in it. I'm just, it's a mind fuck to me. Why Glam Glow out of all, you know what it is? I'm gonna tell you what it is. So glam, companies like Glam Glow only like influencers that are like up here, something 0.5 million subscribers, viewers, whatever. They don't give a shit about lowly ass people like me. They don't care about you that you're spending $69 because they know for a fact that this influencer is gonna sell the crap out of that mask because it's cute for pictures. Listen, when I have a mask on and I post it online, I don't give a shit what you think I look like with that damn mask on because I just want you to know that I'm taking care of my skin. I mean, they literally just made this mask so you can take a picture on Instagram so you can look cute. It's not really to do anything to your skin. It probably is just glycerin and some products that come out like Elmer's glue, like I mentioned earlier, with some glitter on it and some little darkness to it so it comes out black and you slap it on your face, you let it sit there for 20 minutes while your skin is not even taking in any of these nutrients because there probably is no nutrients in this mask. And I spent $69 on glitter. Wow. Super. 
In the words of I am Zoe, I know you fucking lying. We get it, right? We get it now? Do we get it? Do we get where I'm getting at with this? We are going down the shitter. We are allowing these companies to make crap based on popular votes, like our administration. <laughs> like, I just, I'm confused as to why people think this is okay. Like, it's so gimmicky. Okay, so now that my blood pressure went down a little bit, then we can talk about other things. <laughs> okay. Saber. Fenty. I love me some Fenty, guys. Now, the foundation and the primer, I work with separately from my video. I, like, literally do not use them together. So, I love Fenty. I think it's an amazing brand that's come out. I cannot wait for all the new things that come out, which I am getting the new lipstick. I don't know how, but I will. And I think I might repurchase the lip gloss because it is actually a really nice gloss. I don't know why. It's really cute. But anyway, the Galaxy Collection. It's, you know, I, to be honest, I'm not even going to front. I was going to buy this collection. I just wanted the palette. And then I was going to buy like one of the two or the uh, or three of the eyeliners that came out with this collection. And then I let it sit for 48 hours. I thought about it for two days for the whole week. And I was like, do I really want this? It is beautiful. But then, rude. But I couldn't get over the way that the pans were on the on the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. It's enough for me to want to buy it from just the packaging. So, I mean, there I go falling for, you know, packaging because I do admit that sometimes the product just makes me go for it fully once I see the packaging. I ain't gonna front. I'm only human. Don't judge me, okay? Um, but I sat there and I finally saw some reviews on it and I was like, oh, these are like glitter toppers. Yes, they're beautiful. Yes, you can make it work. I don't care that they're all glitters. That doesn't bother me because I have so many palettes that I can just take and use. Like a quick, nice, smoky matte with a glitter. Like, I don't care. It bothers me none. One, I couldn't, I don't know if it's maybe my OCD because I do have just like this much OCD where I like things in line. Like, I don't know. It has to be, I don't know. But the way the pans are, although they're diamond shaped and it looks nice, I feel like there was a lot of wasted space. And I don't know. I, it just didn't, it didn't catch me that good. Once I really started looking at it, I was like, that would drive me insane. Insane. It would just drive me too crazy. Um, I feel like the pants, like I would try to shift the pants. I don't know. I'm, I'm a weirdo. Don't judge me. I'm just, we've already acknowledged I'm a weirdo. I have problems. Yo, my hand is itching. Does that mean I'm getting money? I feel like I'm losing money, not gaining money. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. I'm not gonna buy it. Not knocking Fenty. She's coming out with a red shade. Yes, it's only one shade, a universal red, but I want it. Mm. This collection turned me off so bad. And I don't know why. I think as a kid, I just didn't care for it. And I like ColourPop. And there's a few of their palettes that I missed out on that I really, really want to get so bad. Because I did want to try out their pans for shadows. Because I heard they were really good. But this My Little Pony collection. Oh, it's like very reminiscent. I'm, I'm getting Too Faced vibes from it. And, I mean, look, if you love My Little Pony, it's euphoric for you, and you find it, like, this is just amazing, I need to get it for my collection. I loved My Little Pony when I was a kid. Great! Get it. I The only thing I liked from My Little Pony was those McDonald's toys that they would give you that were My Little Pony. I tried to collect all of those, but I would have rather preferred the Barbie ones. Yes, I'm that old. I think this is a good collection for someone that's maybe younger that's starting out for make with makeup and that you know they I mean it's inexpensive it's not that expensive of a product like to me I mean it could be expensive to some it could be like really cheap to others but to me it's pretty inexpensive um because Colourpop is just an amazing inexpensive brand they're trying it though because they're they're pushing them prices a little too high um that supply and demand crap is starting to kick in so whatever and everyone thinks it's cutesy and all the instagram pictures are adorbs not for me clearly i do not look like the cutesy kind at all so yeah there's that okay so i love maybelline guys i really do just i don't know i ain't for it like i seen a whole bunch of Instagrammers, YouTubers, or whatever get this collection. I've seen a lot of influencers hold the travel palette 
which I thought was cute. I have them all clearly here, just all pictures together because there's a lot of crap that came out with this collection. I'm gonna call it crap because it really is just a whole bunch of stuff that they're gonna re-release without nobody's name on it as a permanent line. I am sure of it. That palette though is ridiculously expensive. Not doing it, not gonna buy it. I have so many of those shades. Why would anyone wanna sit there and buy a palette that just, uh -uh. I mean, it's cute cause it comes with like, it literally is a travel palette. So if you know someone that travels a lot and they do a lot of business and stuff like that, you wanna get them that palette because they love already Maybelline products, go for it. I think it's cute. I think it's pretty decently pigmented from what I've seen, um, but I'm not, now, I don't, I don't know if Maybelline New York, I don't, Maybelline New York, did you, did, I mean, okay. So, Miss Gigi, whatever, um, made an East Coast and a West Coast palette, right? Right, okay. So she made a West Coast and an East Coast palette and the East Coast palettes look really nice. I mean, they look like the layout of pretty much all of the new Maybelline New York palettes. I can't stress that enough. And then you look at the East Coast palettes and it's almost like Gigi Hadid does not appreciate the East Coast even though she gets coins from the East Coast <clears throat> like in New York. So I was just wondering why the palettes for the East Coast look like little toddler ass palettes that don't have shit for product and are the same price. You can't put a brush in that shit. I mean, you can, but what the, what the fuck? Like who did, who allowed that Maybelline New York? Who allowed for the East Coast palettes to look like minuscule palettes, like little Ain't shit palettes, cause that's really what it looks like. The disrespect is real. So, last but not least, and I'm probably gonna get shade for this, I I would love these palettes. Don't get me wrong. I would want it so bad. I actually want all of them, hands down. Uh, if I had the means and I was bored and didn't know what to spend my money on, this is what I would spend my money on. And it is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palettes. They're gorgeous. There's five, four, five, four, five, whatever you see there. And <clears throat> they're the price of a light bill during the summer months. You know what I'm saying? $125 for these palettes. Not saying that these shadows aren't beautiful, but come on, Pat McGrath. I know that you're a phenomenal makeup artist and you have paved your own way and you are now, you know, the owner and CEO of your own brand and you sell to Sephora and that's amazing. Kudos to you. I'm not knocking that. No way, no how, but Pat, you unless you were highly privileged and highly favored, honey, you know what a starving artist is, right? You know how hard it is for an artist, any artist, unless they're fully established, to go and be able to buy makeup for clients or even for themselves at $125 a pop when it doesn't even put it on its own, it doesn't put it on my eye, it doesn't blend for me. Like, I think that that's an absurd, ab absurd amount for a palette that has this many shadows. Uh, uh, uh. That's rent for some people to buy all five of those palettes, four or five of those, I keep forgetting. Either way, that's someone's bills. That's someone's groceries for a few weeks. Like, that's a lot of money to put in to just one little eyeshadow palette. I don't know what she think. I mean, Pat McGrath is phenomenal. I'm not gonna ever knock her for all, all I just, um, now she must be mad at somebody because I mean, I, I'm just, like I just, I don't know. I hope one day I can make my own brand because I will try my damnedest to be accommodating to almost everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like realistically, I will still need to make some coins, but I'm not gonna gouge anybody and dog them out knowing how I started, knowing how I came up, knowing how hard it is for an artist to afford these things. So when I see prices like this, I think of it as a complete disrespect to consumers. Um, I think it's not worth it. It definitely is not worth it. There's no way in hell you can sit there and tell me 
these are worth $125 a piece. It's not. I don't give a shit that Pat McGrath feels like, you know, she fucking pisses gold. I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I appreciate her as an artist. I respect her as far as that goes. But when I see things like that, to me, that's a jab at consumers. Someone like me, because I would want these for my kit. I think my clients deserve something luxe and beautiful and pigmented and something that was created by another artist. That's what I want to have in my kit for my clients. And for my own personal collection, I would probably have one or two. Like, but I'm not. <laughs> Bitch, not I. I'm not spending that kind of money for palettes that fuck out of here the more i'm talking about it the more agitated i'm getting because now it's hitting me like the realism of it it's like no no i love how influencers get all these ridiculous amounts of product knowing that it costs because it does cost the company to send all these items but then the consumers are the ones that get getting screwed just bends over sparky take it dry like nah I ain't that one um i mean i think they're beautiful do I think they're worth more than $55? No. Well, that's pretty much it for my auntie haul, guys. I know I got a little ranty, but that's kind of how my auntie hauls work. If you don't like these kind of videos, you shouldn't have watched this whole damn way. Um, and literally, yes, I'm sure you get it. I'm not going to buy these products. Not saying I'm not knocking you if you got the means and you want to spend and splurge and buy these things because these are things that appeal to you. That is you. I am me. I am all sorts of crazy. So that is what it is. I just want to bring awareness to things that, you know, maybe you thought you needed because it's like, in, I need. But, you know, I want you guys to think clearly and make you know, I don't want you to be out of food this week because you went out and bought a palette, you know, or some lipsticks and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to chit chat with y'all because y'all cool peoples. And I mean, I'm sorry, but this world is turning crazy and I'm not knocking it completely because I'm part of that world. I'm part of the Instagram, the social media, YouTube, all that. I love it. I'm proud of it. I'm just a little concerned. I'm just a little concerned that this is what we're taking it to. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.